Then, uh, little by little, I understood that society is an amazing thing that human evolution is producing. Of course, in that personal journey, I was always fascinated for what ancestors created. And as I was looking, I didn't have answers. In uh, not having answers, you know, you had some kind of conflict uh, to, if you were going to Sacsayhuaman or to Lake Titicaca or wherever other ancient places and not having real answers about that, then I started the other level of my life. Seeing how all this was produced and what was the meaning of all that. And later, it was an event, I was already in my personal journey for, from far, but it was an event that was in 1992 when I arrived uh, in numerous times, I arrived at once uh, again to the main place of the solar pyramid in Machu Picchu. And when I stayed there, the name is the Intihuatana, this is the classic name given to that amazing place. I entered in my personal meditation there. I was with some colleagues and other students. And, and uh, before trying to be in the place, I did my personal reverence and my personal invocation to the Great Spirit and to Pachamama, Mother Earth, saying, Pachamama, here it might be something else that uh, I didn't connect yet, that I didn't get. Please, Pachamama, help me. And that was a very special place in Machu Picchu. And I uh, followed the steps. And when I position myself uh, in the step number five, uh, uh, I was located in the position where it's a ceremony of table, and then I entered in my personal reverence to the place, closing my eyes for a few minutes before sunrise. And then uh, uh, I started to feel with my closing eyes that something was happening in myself uh, because I understood that the sun rises already. And the sun was touching my crown, my forehead. And of course, even if you are with your closing eyes, uh, a kind of light can penetrate and warm temperature could be there. And then that started to touch me and some kind of inner lights were manifested. I understood sunrise is already there. I was really not with physical tears, but with an inner satisfaction that, wow, an important event was happening in that moment like my personal initiation, like the light touching me, that was fascinating to me. And I continued with my closing eyes for a certain time, until the moment that I felt, well, that's enough, is warming because uh, the sun was going higher and this first illumination was coming down little by little. And when it was covering my entire face, it was a moment that I said, okay, uh, uh, it's time to honor that precious moment. I opened my eyes. And I realized that the sun was arriving already here to my position, my heart. In that moment, when I opened my eyes and I felt that, I saw that in the table that I was positioning my hands like that, on the right side of the table, there are two little circles carved by our ancestors. And what happened is that the two little circles were framed in a kind of triangular illumination. So because the rock between the uh, table and the sun was blocking partially the light and because the elevation and all that was producing an amazing effect that the sun was illuminating, making a triangle and inside of the triangle, the two little circles. When I saw that, I said, wow, such an amazing revelation for me that I understood and I gave recognition to that table to depict the shape of the puma already since long time before that event happened. So that revelation and the illumination in my forehead that was a kind of personal uh, initiation into the light. That was amazing because I could feel how that was evolving in myself. After that event that happened, many doors opened in my life. That event didn't happen in any day. That event happened in June 21st which is June solstice. For that was so relevant. It could be any day, 
would say, well, that's a coincidental thing. No, that was June solstice where the sun was touching me in my forehead and the two little circles were illuminated during that day. That uh, provoked in me uh, consequences of uh, a feeling and understanding that all solar observatories had a function. A little by little, that first step uh, in 1992, opening other kind of visual understanding. So far, when I was going to any place where remains from the masters were created, I could immediately re-understand, interpret, and return to those places in order to receive confirmation. Because something, you can have the perception, say, well, you know, my intuition says something, but I can, I can be wrong. But I was returning days of equinoxes, solstices again in other places, and it was a repetition of events. I said, wow. The conclusion was that masters, when they worked in something, that was for a reason. 